Greetings once again, heroes. Dues, dis, din. Back again with more My Hero Academia. Previously, we got to know the history of Toya Totoro, aka Dobby, and how his existence brought about so much grief. How Endeavor married his wife Rei, all for the purpose of cultivating a quirk that would be unstoppable. Their first son, Toya, while incredibly gifted in terms of firepower, had his mother's physiology, able to resist freezing cold temperatures, but not heat, and so using his powers injured him greatly. So Endeavor, not wanting to give up on his dream, but also wanting his son to give up, kept having more and more children, not really understanding that doing so made his son feel as though he was being pushed to the side. The fire that his father lit within him continued to consume Toya and stoke his anger, causing him to continue to try despite even his mother's warnings, which he disregarded as he knew that his mother was a pushover, simply doing as she was told. And so when Endeavor found out about Toya's continued effort, he lashed out at Rei. And this boiled over into Rei, lashing out at Shoto. And so while she was hospitalized for this event, Toya had gone into the mountains to try to show his father how powerful he had become. But when his father didn't show up, his emotions caused his powers to grow out of control. Because he not, had not been properly trained, he only knew how to increase his firepower, not decrease it. And so, the woods where he trained was engulfed in flame, and Toya seemingly died. In present day, while many members of the Sh Todoroki family still blame Endeavor, including Endeavor himself, they all cite things they could have done to possibly avoid the outcome they currently find themselves in. And so Shoto asks for his father's help in stopping his other older brother. Enter Hawks and Bestina, who also want to assist in stopping Dobby as well as the League of Villains, Paranormal Liberation Front, whatever. All for one. Especially since Hawks very much relates to Shoto's situation and marvels at his strength of will and being able to make up with parents who wronged him in his childhood. At least being able to put aside his feelings of apprehension for the greater good. But Hawks needs to know one thing. There was word of one for all mentioned in the battle against Tomura Shigaraki and he thinks it might be the key to stopping all for one. Endeavor notes that it has something to do with Izuku Midoriya, who is still in a coma. Why has Izuku not woken up? Join me as I find out, won't you? I can feel it. The me inside the young man, inside one for all. Do not phrase it like that. The me inside the young man is like, uh... You already got people questioning y'all's relationship. Don't make it even weirder. Right now, you're talking to the previous wielders, aren't you? But what happened to everyone else? Please, please be okay. Oh God, we're escape entering into escape velocity. We need to talk to you before you wake up. <laughs> I love the balls just sitting down having a meeting. And then the ones who refuse to look at them. Oh, that's their hair colors? Huh, interesting. It's weird seeing them all in color. Sorry to do this at such a critical time. Yeah, they're just like, we do not acknowledge you. This is fate too. Well, it's a matter of timing. Bonjo, you talked to him before, didn't you? <laughs> that is so weird to see this flaming visage of him. So wild. The past users of One for All in my dreams again. It's so wild that it's just this, like, landscape too. With all the colors whooshing by. Ugh, so surreal. Before we could only involve ourselves in the space between fluctuations, but we're not limited to that anymore. Because that four month, about four months ago, my power, one for all, suddenly started growing rapidly. Along with that growth, the previous wielders decided one for all were able to take on shape. Basically, you've leveled up. You gained enough XP, kid. Further access to the skill tree. And communicate communicate with other each other and because my brother's power pulled us forcibly in the last bow battle it became easier for us to appear before you anyway your private life is still private so don't worry yeah we don't have access to your deeper thoughts oh, oh yeah you don't have a mouth he has no mouth and he will scream no back then i was able to produce some words my mouth just barely has some shape what did you want to talk about oh you can talk now i will tell him Oh, and he's bigger than I remember. Izuku Midoriya and Tomura Shigaraki. I'm the fourth wielder. My name is Hikage Shinomori. In the last battle, you unexpectedly drew out my power. The fourth wielder's quirk was the ability to sense danger. It was so sudden that it surprised me. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
It's like, surprise you, it surprised me. I wanted to sense danger senses manifestation. He's trying to sound clever. Tinamori is a weirdo who got tired of the mundane life and lived like a hermit. Oh, it was a ter terrible time. Everyone other than me was a weirdo. Did you hear how I died and how old I was at the time? Age 40 when you died. Cause of death. It wasn't written in All Might's note. Actually, it looked like he started writing it and then crossed it out. Apparently, I died of old age. Old age? At 40? I was saying I'm, I was saying I'm not sure because neither Bontra nor I had any way of knowing our cause of death. And we only found out because Yagi looked into it and told us. Yeah. Some unfortunate aspects of the power they wield. As it turns out, all for... One for all cannot be used by a normal human. After Yagi and I had one for all the longest, for 18 years I ran from all for one and spent my days building power. Since I could tell that I didn't stand a chance when I first inherited the power, I thought my turn would be one used to build power. And then, in the final years of my life, cracks appeared on my body. Maybe I wasn't training enough or it was from an unknown design, disease. That's what I thought. But Yagi looked into my medical history and autopsy report and figured out the truth. The old age was basically because I had multiple crooks in one body and it was shortening my lifespan. Lifespan? No way. But wait a minute. I might have had it for longer when the power was much stronger. Yeah. Yeah, this, we're getting into some uh, interesting issues with this ability. You're right. What we need to tell you is the same thing that as what Yagi noticed after the burden of carrying one for all. The others didn't have one for all for long and died in battle. So I'm the only sample we have for comparison. So we thought about what Shinomori had that I didn't. All Might was quirkless. God, wait. It's so weird to seeing the comparison of them around the same age or maybe he, Yagi was a little bit older in this image but just uh it's like uh young old might weird right the information Yagi who is still alive got was told to us through his consciousness inside one for all and then after I heard that my brother had to say I was certain there was talk of people's consciousness as being etched in the quirk factor but then why was Yagi's consciousness here even though he didn't have a quirk factor we always thought that the predecessor's consciousness lived inside one for all or precisely the consciousnesses of the second through seventh wielders lived in the quirk factor that was acquired by one for all Yagi was the only exception he was the only one who gained a consciousness through one for all. The vessels holding the quirk someone was born with couldn't fully accept one for all and it overflowed and warped. Like how the force wielder's lifespan was shortened. Maggie was able to hold on to one for all for 40 years because his vessel was empty. One for all fit into it, and they became his true quirk. Because of some twist of fate, this power that was passed from one person to another was able to have its true worth drawn out by someone who didn't ha not have any power. It's like, by having no power, you gain the greatest power. So it kind of makes Izuku special for not being special, essentially. Which hilariously is something that, and I don't think it's been said or not, but I don't think Yagi or All Might knew this beforehand. It's just like, oh! Just kind of worked out that way. In other words, now that the predecessor's quirk are appearing, I can't pass it on to a normal person anymore. One for all can't be passed on anymore. That's what you're trying to say, right? Yep, you're about as far as it goes. Nonetheless, someone appears who is quirkless and endangering species in your generation it, and needs power. Yeah. Being quirkless, uh, well, it seems like a limitation to you, Deku. It's, uh, now kind of, uh, not really a thing <laughs> to be quirkless it's just like good luck it's not something we could have known at the time it was fate that it ended up getting passed to you two if we had been able to intervene more th with the wielders fear people might have suffered oh sir night eye yeah who knows what it would have happened if all might have managed to unlock more abilities in other words kid you might be the last wielder of one for all me the last wielder this is where we get to the main issue izuku can you kill tomura shigaraki yeah tomura shigaraki deku can you kill tomura shigaraki <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a question you want to answer. Ask a f what? How old is he? Fourteen, fifteen? But this series really is a situation of those are trying their damnedest, but uh, <laughs> it ain't going too well. I'm not asking you to do it. It's a matter of resolve. When you saw that boy's face, you thought he looks like he asked you for for help, didn't you? We respond to your emotion, so we end up knowing that part too. The problem is that we didn't see it that way. Yeah, <laughs> this is an intervention. It's like, you've had some problematic thoughts. 
we need to discuss. We got that he's suffering from being invaded by all for one, but it didn't look like he was asking for help at all. Even under those conditions, those eyes didn't hold anything but hate, because that's how he was raised by all for one, with his body restrained. His, my brother probably wanted to take over his physical body and his mind, so that he could get one for all. Me and my junior, and all for, oh yeah, his name is just N. All for one has tried to steal one for all twice so far and failed both times. In order to make one for all surrender, there needs to be strong feelings and strong emotion that surpasses one for all. Feelings that can't be borne by one person alone. He's probably trying to use Shigaraki's strong hatred. Yeah, it's basically a battle of wills. He's trying to cultivate enough hatred to overcome the force of will of all those who have used all for one for all. It's very, very metaphysical. One for all. Its origin is stronger will. It's a strong will that refuses to yield to all for one. The assumption is that one for all is meant to destroy all for one. It looks like Yagi had accomplished this, but my brother is tenacious and he's trying to make a comeback. Suzuku. I don't think it's fair to ask you after telling you that you can't run. Tomura Shigaraki is my grandson. In order to fight all for one, I left my son. And this is the result. I know that it's disgraceful. For adults who keep failing to make a 16-year-old set of their score for them. Oh, right. He's 16. Oh, jeez. I was way off the mark. But once he turns completely into an evil monster, no one will be able to stop him. There is no way to forgive or understand him anymore. There are people who are redeemable. If someone who looks like he's... As Asking to be saved as someone who is irredeemable. Do you have the result to stop him even if you have to kill him? <sighs> that's, that's a brutal ask too. Cause it's like, yeah, I get it. You know, some people, they need to go down. But that's not what Izuku has been trained to do. It's always my conundrum when people are just like, Batman should kill the Joker. It's like, no, the court system and the legal system should kill the Joker. Batman is an unsanctioned vigilante and should not be turned to to end the life of another person. There is something very ethically wrong with that. He's already doing a law-breaking thing by being a vigilante. And now you're being like, he should execute him too. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I just always take a little bit of issue with that kind of mindset. I'm just like, mm. I feel like you're missing a few steps in the process here. But I get it. You know, you're the only one with the power. To me, he looked like he was in trouble. No. That's what it felt like when Shigaraki's consciousness penetrated one for all, and when Shigaraki felt strongly about his dream. In the depths of that hate, I could sense a child crying. I fought a lot of people up until now. They did not break. I had to fight them in order to stop them. But I didn't know why they ended up like that. If I had known, maybe things would have been different. Maybe I still would have had to fight. He killed a lot of people and hurt people I love. But one for all isn't a power meant to kill. It's a power meant to save. That's what I learned from All Might. It's not just me. I think the power cultivated all of you and All Might has encouraged countless people over the years. True. Even if the origin is a power meant to destroy, after you all risk your lives and added to it, it's come to have another meaning. Aw. It might be the only way to stop him is to kill him. I don't know what I should do specifically yet, but I want to save that kid. It's naive. It, it's terribly naive, but I like that he believes in hope. This is why we'll follow you. Oh, I'm really glad one for all has passed on to you two. My body, I'm Nike. Sorry for testing you. Gran Torino is alive. When you wake up, tell him I said hi. Sorahiko, we made a mistake in our decision, but we were blessed in our students. Oh, you two better start helping soon too. We need your cooperation to fully unleash the power of one for all. Feelings not put into words are flowing into me. Speaking with the predecessors, the truth about one for all, the disagreement with my master. I can only vaguely tell what's going on, but it's flowing into me. The words of for you, someone quirkless, but not as words. Nice to meet you, All Might. Yeah. Oh boy. So, about one for all. <laughs> <laughs> the truth come out! Can we skip the introduction so I can ask you something? Do things not look great for Midoriya? No, he's fine. I'm sure he'll wake up soon. More importantly, what are you doing here, Hawk? It's about one for all in Midoriya. It was something a hero who was presenting in the last battle said to the media. It's been slowly spreading. And then we heard from Endeavor just now, <laughs> I love them just looking in, that Shigaraki was going after Midoriya. I want to reconcile the information. Because from now on, we're not just fighting villains, we're also fighting public sentiment. Yeah. 
Oh boy. That's that's the real harsh one. Fighting villains, that's one thing. Fighting public opinion. Oof. I'd rather fight the villains. The secret should be kept both to prevent chaos in society and for your sake. That's not the stage we're at anymore. They won't give up, huh? Nope, they won't answer. Let's talk somewhere else. I'll tell you everything. Three days passed since the incident. The panic won't settle down. The uneasiness was infectious, but I don't think everyone was just trying to blame the hero. Please have spotless integrity. Please say you don't do anything wrong. We're worried, so tell us well, it'll be fine. Some people were imploring the hero. That'd be the League of Villains is my son, Toya Todoroki. It's the truth. I sincerely apologize for this. Yeah, and stuff like this is greatly looked down, especially in Japanese society. I mean, that that's the thing about Kamika Toga's whole situation with her parents apologizing for what she did. Yeah, in Japanese society, a member of your family does something wrong. Oh boy, it's pretty much better to just move to another town at that point. And ever spoke at length about his family's ugly past. Oh man, that's the end for end of endeavor. It's terrible. I don't care if you have to lie. Just tell me that's not true. You just said that it was the truth, but Hawks and Bashinus refused Dobby's claims, though. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Bashinus's murder was a fabrication for the sake of infiltration. Oh man, see Bashinus without. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. But not everything Davi said was incorrect. The part about my father and how I killed a villain who was running away is also true. I apologize for hiding the truth about my father. Regarding Jin Bubai Gawara, who was villain name was twice, I thought at the time that it was my only choice. If he activated his quirk, the damage would have been unimaginable worse than what we ended up with. It was my fault for not being able to get him to pay for his crime. I feel really bad about that. May I ask you something? My mother was seriously injured in Gigantomachia's path. You can't just say it was all true. I'm sorry, it can't be undone. Do you know how many people have lost their homes in the past week? How can you stand there looking so composed? It was a villain who did it, but those expressions don't look like you understand it was three year mistake. <sighs> See, it's obvious that question is emotionally charged, <laughs> but it's just like, you're expecting them to be sorrier than they already are. And what's an apology gonna get you? What's begging and scraping and crying gonna get you ultimately? It's not gonna change anything. <sighs> if we cried with exhausted faces, would that let it be undone? Uh, of course not. <laughs> It's like, yeah, like, exactly. Take away society's unease. Take care of all the villains. That's, yeah, it's just as you say. That is what I and ever can't do to a tell. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> at most, all I can really do is just go out there and try to stop the villains. Oh, God, again, see, best genus like this is so weird. But right now, with fewer heroes around, it would be difficult to protect everyone. Therefore, we will reduce the area we need to protect. After consulting with the government, starting today with the UA High School, schools with hero courses which have sufficient space and security will be designated shelter. Yeah, it's gotten that bad. Like, that's the point where things really start going to shit. It's like, we need you to go to shelters. We do not need you in outside areas. The more of you who are out there along with the villains, the worse things can get. Basically asking people to give up their home. It's bad. Yeah. Bakugo and Deku's moms. Families of students are already being evacuated. How can we accept being evacuated indefinitely without knowing the future? It's in order to see the future. I wish for you to direct your blame and unease to just myself. Not to those who will risk their lives from now on. Everyone look at me. <sighs> it's a very unfortunate situation, but it's like, that's all he really can say. It's like, I will do my damnness to correct as much as this is possible we will risk our lives we will do everything that needs to be done but literally that's all we can do <laughs> like this is a horrible situation and the only thing we can do is just go back out there and keep doing the job even with so many heroes having quit even with so many people giving up even with so many people dying all we can do is go out there and keep doing the job it's, <laughs> it's the world staying wanted you know <laughs> It's, it's the ones who are stepping up because when push comes to self, it's just like, hey, criticize me, berate me, hate me. I'm still going to go out there and do what needs to be done. Wash. Heroes were being sifted out. Yeah, Mount Lady. If heroes were defined as those whom people called for, Miriko, then heroes disappeared that day. Uh, Kamoi. Even so. Yeah. Eraser had lost an eye. Ugh. 
And it's in the same area as his other scar, too. Like, they keep going for that eye, and they finally got it. There were still those standing up. I haven't had enough yet. Uh, Dobby's overjoyed. Like, ah, I get to go get it when asked about one for all. And they just said, I don't know. In order for no stones to be thrown at Deku and All Might. Hey, this is bad. There was a letter from Midori on my door. And I... And then you got one too? What is this? All for one. Villains are after him. What's going on? Midoriya. Baraka, thanks for everything until now. I thought I needed to tell everyone in Class A my secret. That I'm writing letters to leave behind for all y'all. My power is a special power that I received from All Might. And Shigaraki and one for All for One are coming after me. At this rate, I'll get you all caught up in this. So I'm going to leave you a high. Being able to get into the hero class and meet everyone in Class A really made me happy. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, idiots. If heroes are those who don't balk at taking the hard path, then when they're suffering, who? Ah, she didn't complete the thought. It's like, when they're suffering, who saves the hero? It, it, it's a thing that comes up later. It's very important. In April, Def Deku left our hero academia. Oof, there it is. That iconic shot. A huge villain. Vigilante Deku. The final act begins. <laughs> People love Vigilante Deku. People eat that shit up. <sighs> it, it, I mean, it, it's funny too, because I never really thought that we'd get to that point, though. The point that Stain was talking about, where real heroes would have to show up. You know, the false ones would be stripped away, and those who really believed in the cause would stand up. It's shocking the amount of them who gave up, but it's also encouraging the amount of them who still stuck around. <sighs> It's also unfortunate because a lot of good ones died in that fight, too. <sighs> I still miss Midnight. Like, there, I know it's stupid, but, like, I didn't know how much I loved Midnight until she was gone. And now without her, it's just like, there's just this great missing element. I guess because she was, like, the only, like, real major female teacher in the whole of U.S. But at the end of this, you'll be, like, an arc behind where the manga is. But yeah, in the manga, you're in the final act of things and crazy stuff is going on. Like, I feel like, I feel like one more season could wrap it up, but it might be put into two more seasons just to fully get everything out there. Because where we're at currently now in the manga, that feels like that could be a season and some change, depending on how you do it. But we finish everything in regards to the paranormal liberation art, and I think what we have next will cover the entirety of the next art, which isn't super long, but I feel like it's just enough, and a good way of capping off this season. I, they, I think they really plan for it, so what you're going in into is the Dark Hero arc, and ugh, people love the Dark Hero arc. Some people are so happy about the way it ends, but I, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, I think the, after the next story arc, there's enough content that would be about under what a season would be, but I don't know where it's going to end. That's the only thing. So depending on where we are in the manga by the end of this season, you might find out, hey, one more season to go. But there are some great moments coming up. It, it's already like... At its high of highs, and with the added animation and a lot of things they're doing, it's they're really nailing it this season. Great, great stuff. I'm loving it. I am loving it. But don't just take my word for it. Let me hear from you in the comments. How did you feel about the discussion of the previous wielders of One for All? Are you interested to see what they can do, seeing it live and in action? What are your opinions about the situation Deku has been presented with? Do you agree with what he's trying to do? It's mostly an approach of what will be with B. Will be. If I can save him, I'll try to. But if I can't, I mean, maybe that's just a failing on my part, but I'll, I'll do my best. It's an optimistic answer, honestly. And I like that. But a lot of emotion. And I could honestly see people, you know, really hating on the heroes, but you're not in a situation where you can just be hateful. It's just like, you need all the people you can get to try to stand up against what's coming. And the funny thing is, it's such a wild situation that heroes have quit 
because with all these criminals out there, <laughs> what happens if a hero, a former hero, say, comes across a villain who tries to go after them? And they're gonna fight back. Who knows what's gonna really happen along those lines? And things really go to pot. Like, oof, the wildest year of Deku's life. <laughs> <laughs> it really is funny though, because that's the, the, about the span of things. Deku's. I, I don't even know if in the manga we've reached a point a year to date where All Might met Deku. What was the time frame? Okay, yeah, I'm looking it up. April. So like. It, when Izuku is off on his own, so we're about to, I think we're about to hit that year. I think what's gonna happen is, by the time we hit the end of things, it'll be a year since Deku had met All Might. I think that's what they're trying to do. Which is so wild to think that all, everything that happened to Deku happened over the course of one year. Part of me wants to say I wish my high school freshman year was that eventful, but god no. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And until that next one, I've been Deuce Zizden, and I hope to see you then. Take care. Bye bye